Now, let's try and answer the question that everyone has in mind. Is dateable right for me? So to answer this question, we need to think about the requirements of the use case that you have in hand, uh, at hand in this moment. So uh, let's try and um, we've listed here uh, some of the requirements that are a very, very good match for use cases that need to use uh, Datable. Then, depending on which of these uh, requirements you have in your use case, you'll be able to decide if you really need Datable or you can use one of the other alternatives. Data Vault is really good for uh, auditability requirements. If you have a use case where you need full auditability, full history of the data and keep track of the different versions, Data Vault is really good for this. As we've seen, uh, you can keep track of these versions in the satellites and, um, and you will be able to answer the question of what happened when and which source system do you deliver the information. Um, it's uh, also really good for use cases where we need to integrate lots of source systems together. Uh, it's, uh, as it has scalability at the center of the design and it's been, um, yeah, it's been designed thinking of scalability, not only in data size, but in uh, team size or organization size. Um, you can have each operational system or each source system with its own engineers that understand the data, model that part of the data, and uh, add, uh, their, uh, add their entities to the data warehouse. Integration between the different source systems is going to be very easy, thanks to the hubs and the links and uh, uh, this relationship between them. And um, so you can effectively have many teams collaborating towards a common goal and building the uh, uh, common data warehouse for everyone. Um, data Vault is also very good for the heterogeneous source data scenario. So having data in different formats or even from different systems or using different technologies. Uh, here, as we try to keep the data as it is on the source systems, on the on the robot and robot and provide historization over that, um, we are able to ingest data in many formats and later on down the down the path on the business uh, vault layer, for example, or even uh, yeah, probably in the business uh, vault layer, uh, you would extract this information and um, integrate it using business logic to uh, yeah to union all of this and changes and any sort of change that happens on the source data or on, on these uh, integration pro uh, processes will be absorbed on, on that layer. You will always have the, the robot to keep track of the, of the uh, different versions of the data and go back and, uh, and so you still have the auditability even though you uh, are performing the business logic later on. Uh, finally, uh, Data Vault is also a really good. Um, it's really good for high ingestion throughput use cases, because uh, if you compare it with the uh, other method, the other uh, architectures such as uh, Kimball or Inmon, uh, we have a very very light staging layer. Data gets ingested into the data warehouse very quickly. We just keep the data as it is from the source system. So it's very good for high ingestion uh, throughput use cases where we need to get gather lots of data into the data warehouse.